Dr. Vandana Ramanathan. I am a fertility specialist at Garbhagudi IVF Center, Kalyanagar and Maratpalli branch. Today I am going to be talking about uh, CASA. All you need, about, need to know about CASA. First and foremost, what is CASA? CASA is Computer Assisted Semen Analysis. It is a test that is done to evaluate male fertility. Uh, what do we exactly do in CASA? Now CASA as the uh, name already suggests, it is a computerized assessment of your semen parameters. So how and when do we do it? Again, we do it in couples who have come to us with complaints of infertility. So when a couple comes with infertility, it's not about evaluating only the female or only the male. We have to evaluate the couple together because whatever issues are there has to be addressed together at the same time. It's not that we have to solve one issue and then go on to find out the next issue. That is going to waste time and that is not going to give solutions. So we do this uh, semen analysis for all males uh, you know, who have come with fertility issues. Now, uh, when, uh, so how and when do we do CASA? Coming back to that. So CASA is done. Uh, so when the male has to give his semen sample, uh, we ask him to come with an abstinence of two to seven days. So he has to come with an abstinence period that is without having sexual intercourse or without ejaculating by masturbation, he has to have a gap of minimum two days, maximum five days. Uh, any gap less than two days or more than seven days actually will uh, give to uh, will uh, not give you accurate results. Now, how does CASA benefit? How does it help? Now, compared to a manual analysis, uh, CASA is more beneficial because your inter-observer variability is less. Uh, the results are more accurate and they can be reproduced. So what they have done is when they have done studies, they have found that when you are doing a, a computer uh, you know, assisted analysis, uh, the results will be more or less uh, accurate as well as reproducible. If the same, uh, if two different people are going to do the analysis on that sample, the result will not be much difference. So that is why inter-observer variability is less, which is why it is better to do uh, a computer as, uh, you know, assisted analysis rather than a manual analysis. Now, what are the things that we check in this CASA? So first is uh, we check for the volume of the semen, then we check for the viscosity, we check for the liquefaction time, that is how much time it takes for the semen sample to liquefy. We check for the pH of the sample, then uh, these are the basic things and then coming to the sperm parameters, we check uh, whether the, how the count is, whether it's a normal count, less count, more count. Then we check for uh, motility of the sperms and we check for the morphology of the sperms. Again in motility, there are, uh, you know, grades of motility. So again, we have to check for, you know, rapidly progressive uh, sperms, slow progressive uh, sperms, uh, immotile sperms. Or non-progressive sperms. So these, this is how we categorize the motility, and uh, the uh, the report is given accordingly. So according to the WHO guidelines, now the latest WHO 2021 guidelines say that uh, you know what are the parameters that we actually consider as normal according to the WHO 2021 guidelines is that uh, volume should be around 1.4 to 1.5 ml. Sperm count should be 15 million per ml or 39 million per ejaculate. Uh, sperm uh, motility should be, a uh, total motility should be 42% and the progressive motility should be 30% and uh, the morphology should be 4%. Again, for morphology, there is something called as strict criteria. Now, strict criteria is a criteria that was uh, developed by one Dr. Uh, Kruger. So, it's also called as Kruger strict criteria. Uh, he has given this criteria uh, where there is a very strict assessment of the morphology of the sperms. Why? So that, you know, uh, once when you have a morphology that is uh, when you're very particular about the morphology, you know that those normal sperms have better chance at giving, uh, you know, uh, from the fertility point of view, they have a better chance for uh, giving a pregnancy. Uh, so in morphology, what is seen, so the head, neck and tail. These are the three parts of the sperm. So in morphology, they will actually assess each and every uh, you know, sperm for the head, uh, neck and tail defects. So any head defects, any uh, variation in the neck uh, or any variation in the tail, 
is considered as a defective sperm and it is given uh, it is not considered as a normal sperm which is why if you see because the criteria is very strict now this uh, morphology if you see according to the strict criteria 4% and above is considered normal so anything less than uh, 4% is an abnormal uh, sperm morphology so this is what casa is all about it is a computer uh, assisted semen analysis and these are the basic parameters that we usually see in this so uh, i hope this video has been helpful uh, uh, to all of you i hope you understood uh, the basics of what we see in a semen analysis and if you like this video please do subscribe to our channel so that you get more informative videos like this and share this video with your friends and family if you have any more queries on this uh, topic please uh, visit our website or call us on the number that's given in the description so that we can get back to you thank you very much